Which one should we take? P38 it is. What's going on you guys? Mikey here from Disco 2 Overland. As you can see, we're riding in the P38. I'm just gonna go for a quick ride, take you guys along for the ride, and hop out, do a quick little walk around. Uh, I have done a walk around video on this truck before, very brief, uh, and I'm gonna do a little bit of the same today. I have done a few things since the last video. Nothing crazy. There's still a list of things to do on this truck, but I figured, why not make some content with it? I'm out driving, so turn on the camera and see what we can do. So, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe, um, comment video suggestions, and follow my Instagram, which is Disco2Overland, and I post every day on there, that's it. So, I'm just driving now, the truck drives really well, it's got 144,000 miles on it, I bought it with like 139,000, it was only, I guess two, actually I bought it two years ago, so it hasn't been driven as much as the Discovery. Um, but yeah, I haven't really had much issues with it. Turn off this light, I don't know if you can see me or not. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I did the front cover gasket when I first got the truck, as well as the oil pan gasket, little things like that. Uh, but nothing, you know, nothing expensive. The U-joints were done as well, but I did buy the truck from the original owner, who has about $18,000 in service records, just from the last, like, six years, which is awesome. Um, he, you know, it's got new tires, new brakes, like all, all that kind of stuff is perfect and done. So I haven't really had to do much to it. Um, you know, again, only 144.5 on it. And I bought it with 139, so didn't put a lot of miles on it. But it's definitely up there in mileage. But like I said, it drives really well. We've taken this thing on, you know, road trips, a couple hour road trips. Uh, drive smooth air suspension works great so you, if you follow on Instagram you see I had a little hiccup with the uh, EAS the nanocom was not communicating with the ECU and that was because the relay was bad but also some of the wiring got wet and corroded so it, it was it was a whole big ordeal but we figured it out it didn't cost anything to fix because I have parts trucks and you know resources so that was easy and that's that so in a little bit i'm going to pull over you just missed the sunset as you can see and i'll walk you guys around the outside of the truck so one thing that you can obviously see that i've done is upgraded the headlights i got them from headlight experts they actually sent them out as well as the fog lights things got some power compared to the disco that's for sure so let's pull into this lot here, and I'll show you the outside. But yeah, the, anyway, these headlights are really, really bright, and world of difference from the from the stock lights. Like you know, you can't really go wrong. I think it's a hundred bucks for the high beams, hundred bucks for the low beams, hundred bucks for the fog lights. Uh, like I said, headlight experts sent them out. Really appreciate it. Um, I did put them on my Discovery as well. You know, no complaints. Everything works in this truck really a great truck so I'm gonna just pull over here yeah we just missed the sunset let's go to the back of the lot I'm not gonna be too much light but I'll see what I can do and um, I'll show you what I've done to the outside really like one thing that, that that's it but it's a smooth riding truck very clean the insides like brand new <laughs> bonnet open I do have to do that sensor which is annoying um, but again I'll just pull it off a of car truck so let's hop outside. Oh, yeah, you can hear the exhaust leak. That'll be fixed in a week or two, hopefully. So here it is. It's black. I painted the Mondials black. Just some spray paint. I uh, power washed them, sanded them down, did some primer, uh, gloss black with uh, satin clear coat, and they came out amazing. Did the same process on the D2. It's awesome. Paint's in pretty good shape. It could use a nice wax and compound. Um, but yeah, so what I've done is I put these bars on that I 
lucked out on a parts truck. I really love how the crossbars look on this truck. Definitely gives it better lines because this truck's got good lines. It's a little plain though. But with those crossbars, it definitely, you know, improves the look. Uh, I do have light guards for it at home, but I'm, I just can't bring myself to screw into the body. So I don't know. Um, got the car from Brooklyn. So what, what do you expect? Nice little dent. Walking around the back, you know, bumpers, nothing's cracked. It's all awesome shape. Check out underneath. Smooth truck. Uh, I think I am going to do 20% tints all around. Um, I just think tints will look really good on this car. Black the whole thing out. Just keep going with the blacked out theme. Um, so like I said, I got LED bulbs. grill isn't all faded out it's in really really good condition um you know not, everything on this truck is really good so i am looking for a brush guard if you guys know of a brush guard for sale let me know um because i'm definitely a buyer replace this off a of parts truck you know not much wrong with it <coughs> squeaky hinges um yeah so i'm gonna do the headliner probably in black but I'll do it once it starts falling because as of now it's in really good shape um but i did the black headliner in the d2 and i loved it and i did all the pillars in black from leftover uh, material from that truck so it really looks great seats are like brand new i'm telling you the, the original owner took really really good care of this truck um i do need a head unit the head unit the keyboard doesn't work so i can't put the code in which sucks um so we're going to have to figure that out. But yeah, really clean truck. No rips, no tears. Um, I do have the the uh, seats folded down because I was using it the other day. Got the blower and stuff in there. But yeah, rubber mat in the back, full-size spare, an awesome shape. Let me see if I can show you guys the rear seats. I mean, it's as if no one ever sat back here. Really, really, really good condition. I really love the black interior on this car. So yeah, just a quick little video. I know you guys wanted to see some P38 action, but I promise I'll get some better videos for you on the P38. Just, you know, I was bored. I'm like, why not go make a video? But yeah, this thing, it's a fun truck and it really doesn't get driven as much as my other car. So this is down here where the, uh, the extra ECU is for the uh, EAS, the e yeah, the EAS. So um, I just haven't put the, I haven't screwed this in and put the uh, the little trim piece back. Um, but I'll do that probably this weekend. So uh, where'd I put the key? Yeah, it's really, really good shape. I'm really happy with the purchase. Had it two years, haven't, you know, Some days it reminds me of my classic that we had. Others, it looks exactly like the L322. It's got some unique lines. So, um, yeah, look how bright those headlights are. Yeah, so that's pretty much gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys stuck around. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, comment video suggestions down below. Tell me what you wanna see. Tell me what you want me to do. Um, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, I will get some better, you know, P38 content in the future. Uh, haven't really been driving it much though, because I'm waiting to fix the, uh, the exhaust leak, which is very annoying. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get this thing tinted, get the exhaust fixed. Uh, like I said, I'm looking for a brush guard, hopefully another head unit. And I mean, this truck is, it's perfect. It's awesome. So you can't beat it what I paid for it. I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for it because it's, I'm paying the same price for parts trucks these days. So, um, yeah, I'm, re I'm really happy with this truck. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and um, let me know what you guys want to see. I'm going to turn out of here, do a quick little pull, and that's it for the night. Thanks for watching. All right, just put it in sport mode. Let's go.
steps. There's Connecticut. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video.